friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss about dscp server so in previous video we have understood how the dscp so what is dscp and how the dscp provide the ip addresses to the client machines so now we are going to configure dscp server on windows server 2016 and we'll see that how the ip address will get leased to the client machines okay so this is my dscp server and domain controller as well so first i must install dscp server role on this server so in order to install dscp server role i need to open server manager console click on add roles and features click on next button click on next button select the server on which server you want to do you want to install the dscp role click on next here you need to select dscp server so these are the additional features which will get installed so i selected dscp server role click on next button here i am not going to select any feature additional feature click on next next install now the dscp role installation started this will take 2 minutes only once this is finished we will configure dscp server click on complete dscp configuration click on next commit click on commit close click on close button now you can open dscp console to configure dscp scope open server manager console click on tools here you will be able to see dscp so dscp dscp console opened this is the server where we have installed dscp role we are going to create a scope for ip version 4 and we are not going to configure ip version 6 okay we are going to configure only ip version 4 okay so <clears throat> you must right click on the ip version 4 to create a new scope click on new scope new scope wizard will open click on next button here you can specify the name of the scope i want to name it as a first floor so i want to configure a scope for first floor of my building click on next here you need to set the range of ip addresses so we have this server is a domain controller and this server is having ip address 192.168.1.1 this is the ip address so i want to reserve specific range from 1.1 to 1.10 okay for domain controllers only so what i will do i will set a range from 192.168.1.11 so start ip address range will be 1.11 so this range will provide ip addresses to the client machines and end ip addresses on my first floor i have only 10 machines that is why i am going to 
set a range from 192 168 1.11 to 1.20 so this will be the range because I am having only 10 machines that is why I am going to set a range from 11 to 20 click on next button here if you want to exclude any specific IP you can add here click on next button at this moment I am not going to exclude any IP addresses that's why I'm going to click on next button this is a lease duration the lease duration specifies how long a client can use an IP address from this scope so IP address assigned to any system that IP address will be having a lease period lease duration after lease duration that IP address will get renewed to the machine okay so this is a default configuration eight days in interview you will ask what is a default duration of DSCP default lease duration of DSCP server you can say that eight days this is a default I'm go I'm not going to change anything I'm going to click on next button here config you want do you want to configure additional options like a DNS server default gateway yes I want to configure these options click on next here you need to enter a default gateway 192 168 1.254 this is my default gateway click add button next here by default it has taken DNS server IP address so I'm not going to touch or change anything here click on next button win server I'm not going to use any win server do you want to activate this scope now yes I want to activate click on finish so now scope is ready you can see here multiple options like address pool what is a scope okay from 11 to 20 leases is there any lease available no reservations is there are there any reservations configured no scope options you can see here what is the default gateway what is a DNS server and what is the domain name policies are there any policies no not configured okay so you can go back to the client machine and you can verify at this moment this server is having IP address configured statically that means manually you can see that this is manually entered IP address okay so you must select obtain an IP address automatically in order to get IP address from the DSCP server you can see here 192 168 1.10 1.10 IP address is configured for this machine manually okay once I select this this machine will get new IP address from the DSCP you can open CMD prompt and you can check that click on cancel button <coughs> click uh, I IP config on. You can see that this is statically configured IP address. Here you can see. Let me mark IP version four one eighty two and sixty eight one dot ten. This is IP address configured. And here you can see TCP enabled. No. Once I select obtain an IP address automatically the server will get new IP address sorry this client machine will get new IP address just execute the same command again you will be able to see that the difference between the both configuration see here DCP enabled In previous output you can see that DCP enabled no and what is the IP address IP address is 1.10 and 
and now in second command second command output you can see that DCP enable yes because we have obtained IP address automatically that is why DCP is enabled and what is the IP address now 1.11 earlier it this uh, the IP address was 1.10 and now this is 1.11 because we have configured range from 1.11 to 1.20 that is why first IP address will get assigned to the client machine and now next is lease obtained when this IP address leased to this machine 12 20 pm 3rd of January lease expires on after 8 days you can see here 11th of January 12 20 pm this is how the ACP provides an IP address to the client machines I hope you like this video <clears throat> please like and subscribe for more videos and also do not forget to click on notification icon so that you will receive notification whenever i upload new videos thank you guys thank you for watching my video bye have a nice day